Black Dog by Gavin Goulder. Published, I think, around April 2019. 65 pages. It's a big one. It was funded on Kickstarter, so it's 12 inches by 12. 12 inches square. 66 pages. And a nice cover. It's got... It's all colour. It's got some dialogue and photographer's notes in the back. I got a nice card, a thank you card, it's a good idea, I like that. Put that there. Now, you may be thinking that's not a black dog, and that's, you're right, it's not, but that's irrelevant to the actual context of the book. It's a fantastic little book, big book, and Gavin's first book. It's a really interesting book, and interestingly enough today, I know the context behind it. I've read a little into the insight into Gavin's story and why the book evolved. And I give the book to a few students today and said, work it out. And initially a couple of students were like, but the dog's not black. And I said, well, that's good. That, that's drawing you to the book. You're thinking about the, the, the black dog, symbolic name of the black dog and the, and the white dog. And then they brought the book back to me and then they said, yeah, I really get that. I really understand now why he's done a book like this. So it's really interesting. So I did test it on some students today and they got it. Uh, Gavin's story, he um, was a photographer. He became ill. I don't know when, it is in the book. I won't go too much into it. I'll let you get the book and read it. He became ill. He, it was a suspected stroke. It became apparent that he, it was a, some sort of severe migraine symptom he's got. And then Gavin's mental health became an issue and it was apparent that it was affecting his day-to-day -day life. And this book, I think, evolved from the whole mental health state in the way he was interacting with the world and how the world was interacting with it at the time. And Black Dog is the the name or the the, the, the coined name for uh, a depressing, like an MDD, a major depressive d disorder, or as we understand it, it's just depression. And that is in itself is mega complex, you know? It's like, it's, it, 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 this is quite a symbolic shot to discuss depression, that foggy road leading to somewhere unknown. And even though the route is familiar, there's so many things fogging your way. And I think symbol symbolic wise, this book really lends itself to that. And I can see it's a sort of half felt journey within this. And it's done quite cleverly, this book. And this is a sort of statement, the black dog, and this is the sort of his life in terms of the, it's a little essay just about how the whole thing started, like I've just brought about the, the with the, with the, the panic and the and the migraines and the and the stroke to how the book was born and how it came about and his challenge to shoot the book while he, as he coined, was facing Black Dog every day. So he shot the book Facing Black Dog. It was a book to celebrate somebody tackling depression. And I guess that's a way of looking at it. If this is a book to celebrate that somebody is dealing with depression in their way, but also documenting stuff which is about people maybe being depressed and challenging the world. And I think this book's more about the psychosocial approach to developing awareness of being depressive and dealing with certain activities which are part of a therapeutic care and cure for, I mean, I say cure with a want of a better word maybe, but a way of dealing with the anxieties of depression. So what Gavin's done is he's looked at ways which are known to help people who are depressed and what they stimulate within the body. That could be physical exercise, walking, hobbies, and that I think is psychosocial. Now, don't, call, don't quote me on that. In fact, challenge me, talk to me about it, talk about the book, get this book, support it. There's not many around. You can get this on Gavin's website. If you, I'll put the link for Gavin's website. And let's have a look at some of the pictures. And I guess some of them are, if metaphor is the right word, there's almost a symbolic approach to the feeling of depression, that weight on the shoulders, but in a way 
it's depicting that it's a way of combating stress as well. It's great. It's it's really it's a very interesting book, and I think these are lovely, and and I love the ways brought the two together. In fact, they are they are. I don't know if they're the same person, but there's definitely two sides of it. It could be one one big shot, it's not two shots joined together. And the the symbolism of sort of uh, hobbies and physical exercise and the stimulant you get and the confidence you get back into society. So I think it's quite surreal. I, I actually quite like it. I love this shot actually. That's a great shot. I'm gonna bring this down now. Let's have a look. Look at that, I like the sort of shadow there. And that's sort of another symbolism, again, for that lurkingness of the of, of the mental state as well, that what's something lurking behind and maybe the loneliness. I could be reading too much into it. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna show you the right side of it and discuss some of the pictures. And then I think you should get your feely way out there and get out there and buy it. And even if this could be a present for somebody who's suffering from depression and make and, and looking at the story, looking at what this book symbolizes, then I think it, it, you know, if you can help one person, and that's that's the point, and that's the beauty of these things, you know, this is what it's all about. And if I can help share that, then let's and help get this book sold and, and get it to the right people and just at least spread the word about depression. I think it's fantastic, you know? So the book's quite abstract, even an abstract way of looking at people as well, you know? And I think, again, we look at here, we look at this double page shot, and it's like that, that people down here, it's that isolation, isn't it? The wood from the trees and that feeling of isolation and even that, you know, like focal points and focus points. And that noise is the camera hitting off the, the page is hitting off the camera because this book's massive. And it's abstract again. Portrait, so water sports, great portrait, lovely use of depth of field, great light. Now you can find out more about where the book's shot. You can ask Gav. There's some info in here. You can look at the Kickstarter page, which I'll put the link on, but you can't buy it on a Kickstarter. You can definitely get it from Gav. You can also see Gav, who's touring around the circuit and talking about the book and talking about much better informed than me about what the pictures mean and what, what, what the context of some of the images mean. I mean, all in all, right, this is about a guy shooting in with depression. It's about a guy seeing the world being depressed. It's about a guy telling a story about his life and the way he sees the world and what these pictures might seem nothing, they're symbolic of his thought process at the time. And they're symbolic of people and the way they live their lives to combat stress. So it's got a lot of double meanings. There's some great shots in here. And I'm not really covering the left side. I think you should go and discover that yourself. And it's simple things like this, you know, the meaning of stuff, the symbolism of water and the elements can be really strong. And I think we've all suffered from a little bit of depression and, and some of us more than others. And we get that. Sometimes we do take a, take a step out of our life and look at the elements and look at, look at, um, look at things and the, and the detail of things to try and make sense of everything, don't we? I like this as well. It's a great shot. Togetherness the bonding, people working together. There's a lot of, there's a great shot on the left, which I'm gonna break the my rules a little bit and show you. I love this combination. And this is what I love about book editing. I love having this freedom to, to do an illustrate shot, which sometimes when you're doing the edit, you think might never have worked. How is that shot of the seagull gonna work with something like that you maybe, when you're shooting them, you never see the balance and you never see how like something like that will come together. But actually when you're laying pictures on the floor and you're printing all the roughs out and you put it on the floor and there's a coming together of ideas and stuff. And, and you can see it in photographer's work, you know, you can see that the editing process was really important. It doesn't just happen. 
Den Sheik, Peter Jench is the same, Jim Watton's the same, John Bullock is the same. All the people I'm looking at at the minute are all, all really heavily into narrative structure within their work and how images work within the book and how they complement each other. And I love this. You've got two guys that look like they're on a drone and you've got this seagull that's really clever, really good photography. That's some great portraits, look at that. Let's just jump off that. It's fantastic. And this looks like something like a sound therapy. I don't think it's VR, but it looks like it's some sort of, um, like sort of sound therapy or something like that. And again, it's that abstractness of the world. It's looking at stuff in a different way. The light, the elements. And here is the photographer's notes. Surfing, walking the Bodmin Mirror, silent disco yoga, so that's what that was. Mamas in Nature, the Waterloo reenactment, the Hurt Locker Throwdown, foraging and singing. Now, when you get to know what the story's about and you understand it, then you see the understanding and put it all together and what he's trying to do with Black Dog. Hats off, mate. It's a great little, great little book. I think you've done amazing that you've, you've actually come from something where you were facing the sort of reality check with your life and you've put it into something really productive. And that's what it's all about. And that, of being able to be able to sort of share things as a creative and, and make sense of the world a little bit and help somebody along the way. Thank you very much. I'll put all the links down in the information box. Get out and get Gavin's book. Thanks for supporting camera. Keep supporting, keep sharing. Thank you very much.